Well, in a galaxy far, far away, the first ever image of a black hole, or at least the fiery ring around it, that's what we see here. It's a milestone that could change the way scientists explore the universe. Now, this has never happened because, as the name suggests, a black hole emits no light, which means we couldn't see one until now. As Ken McLeod explains, some local scientists played key roles. You are looking at the monster vacuum of the universe, a supermassive black hole in the M87 galaxy. Pure gravity, so powerful that even light gets sucked into a cavern of oblivion, six billion times the mass of our sun. We have seen what we thought was unseeable. Harvard astrophysicist Shep Dolman led 200 scientists who spent more than a decade syncing up eight radio telescopes around the world to finally bring the invisible into focus and confirm Einstein's century-old theory. My goodness, we just proved that Einstein was right at a scale that no one's dreamed of. Indeed, it was here at MIT's Haystack Observatory in Westford that a mountain of incomprehensible blips were assembled, which supercomputers and complex algorithms, one hatched by former MIT grad student and Katie Bowman eventually converted into this. Most of us still don't believe it's possible even though we've done it. All of the numbers that go along with this black hole are beyond mind-blowing. It's 313 trillion miles from Earth. That's 53 million light years away. Meaning this image is actually ancient history, reflecting dinosaur age stuff that took this long to reach us through space. Science fiction has become science fact. Scientists believe black holes are the core of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way. But some compare capturing the cosmic events so far from Earth to someone trying to read the date on a quarter from cross country. So it's a science bonanza. These are the kind of things that make you realize that there's a world that's been inaccessible to us that we can now see. There is already unscientific chatter about a Nobel Prize. In Westford, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.